Good morning, St. Lucas. It's good to be with you again on this day that the Lord has invited us into and to continue to be on this hero's journey together. Now, Sunday in worship, we talked about who the true hero is, that while we in our um, infinite humanity <laughs> always seem to want to, to find ourselves to be the hero of the story, when we look at the bigger story, at God's story, we actually discover that Jesus is always the hero. Jesus is our hero. Jesus is the hero that invites us to come along the journey with him. Now, Sunday, we also talked about the baptismal vow that uh, goes along with this particular week. And um, I want to read that as a reminder of what Pastor Jad preached on. This week's vow uh, is, is one of... Um, of commitment, um, like them all, but this one particularly um, strikes some interesting uh, chords. First, do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord, in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. And if we do, we respond with, I do. Now, I, I think um, I loved the way that Pastor Jad broke that down into pieces. And I hope that as you've gone throughout the week that this vow has stuck with you to kind of ask that question, where, where does this vow push against some of your rough edges? Where does this vow push against where we are spiritually, where our, um, you know, our hearts are, where our lives are right now? I think we're probably all pretty tired. We're, we're, we're exhausted. It's, it's hard to keep up day to day. But this vow really, really leans into the response to those moments, to those moments where we feel like we um, just, just might not be able to take that next step. Because this vow requires a whole different level of commitment and trust. You know, fighting evil, injustice, and oppression can feel big and and hard but but it's kind of exciting but this one this one actually requires me to set myself aside in a different way confessing jesus christ as my savior period and and, and nothing else that i my my savior and my salvation can only be done by jesus to put your whole trust in his grace. That's probably the one that pushes against me a little bit more. I like to trust more in my abilities and my control and my planning and, and that kind of a thing. To promise to serve him as your Lord. That, that all things in my life are lived in response to Christ's work in my life. That, that serving is the natural uh, response to Christ's work in my life. And in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. That I can't do this faith thing by myself. That while I may be baptized um, alone in the sense that I'm the only one maybe in that moment getting water uh, poured on my head, um, we don't do anything in baptism alone. We don't do anything in the church alone. That we can't do faith by ourselves. It's not just an us and God thing. It is always an us and God thing that I have to join with a community to live out my faith fully. So I, I, I take you back through those so that maybe this week you can, can take a moment to think through as you go through this year's Lenten journey, as you ask that question of uh, what it means to not be the hero, for Jesus to be the hero, for this story not to be about me, but actually about Jesus, actually about what he uh, has done, is doing, and will continue to do. How do you need to set some of yourself aside in that moment? What is it that you need to let go of to be able to, to, to fully respond to this vow? To confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, to put your whole trust in his grace, to promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. We continue on the hero's journey together. It's a chance for us to, to work on those rough edges, to see where we might not be willing to consider Jesus our full savior, that we, we find our salvation somewhere else, to set that aside. Where are we not putting full trust in God's grace to be all sufficient for our lives? Where are we not choosing to serve when we could? Where are we serving ourselves rather than serving Christ and serving our community? 
And where are we choosing to do things individually rather than in union with the church, which Christ has called us all together? I pray that that will be something that works on you today, that it continues to be part of our Lenten journey as we continue to consider what these vows invite us into, the deeper journey, the hero's journey, focused only on Christ. Amen.